Ready up. And hopefully that's given everyone enough time. So we will get this underway. So we are on the gate. Let's get to the spider cam. And welcome back. This will be round one. And around the first corner is going to be Ken's with the whole shot. Round one of the Ioma EU Championship at Minneapolis. So Ken's is going to be out front. Trivas in second. Joe Tanto in third. And Louis going to go through though. Squeezing his way through. So he's going to be in second now. And Tanto's dropped back to fourth a little bit there. But Ken's out front. Blind and start. Just what he wanted. And he's going to be happy with that. Coming back from MX Bikes. and. Getting jumping back into the game and running the pace straight away. Trivas right behind him though. He was our fun race winner last Friday. And he's gone down. Hit the tough block. It's going to drop him back to Sip. So he's got some work to do now. But Louis, second, gained some pace from somewhere. See how long we can see if he can run it up there. He has been getting faster, but not usually on the leader pace. So we'll see what he can do. He's on that gas gas machine. He's jumping through that section. AK right behind him, though, battling with Cray. And then there's a whole load of them. AK with a big mistake. Someone going down there. I believe that was Charlie. Um, but Ken's starting to check out. Louis has got a bit of breathing room. Cray moving through. Or should I, yeah, so that is AK right there also. So they're fighting for the inside route. Cray's going to take that. Put his arm up there. As they're going over the triple low. Going to gain a little gap there. AK right behind him though with Turbo, Charlie and Tanto in this as well. Charlie was second place in the fun race I believe. So he's in fifth. Not of the greatest start. As we saw he did go down on the early stages of the race though. Trivas coming through but again he's in sixth. But he's got Tanto and Turbo right down his neck. Cray in fourth, still behind AK. Going through the whoop section. Cray actually carried a bit more speed there. Going to cut in, but he didn't. He threw on the floor, and that's going to take poor old Charlie out with him. Charlie had nowhere to go there. So unfortunate there. That's going to put them back in 6th and 7th. So AK going to have some breathing room in 3rd. Trivas going to be in 4th now with Tanto, Cray and Charlie in a little group now. And that's going to be the battle for 5th. You can see Turbo just in the background there. And oh, going for the move. Cray going to go down though. Tried aiming for that inside. Jumped off a little bit wrong. And oh, who's that? Charlie going down also. So no one wants to stay on the motorcycles this race. But it's going to be Ken's in the lead still with Louis in second. But AK really closing in. And Trevas putting in the pace as well now. So he's up to fourth with that horrific start. That went down early on. And he's going to hit the... Oh, he saved. What a save there from Trevas. Got to give it to him for that. Does take some strength with the thumbs to keep it on like that. But AK really pushing down the laps now behind Louis. Might actually have to run here. Definitely got more power. But, oh, Louis going to try and muscle his way through. He's held it for now. But AK is going to take up the inside. And what a pass from Louis. That is, that is good. That great pass. And that's going to allow Trevas to close back up. And oh, all coming into each other. Let AK have a little bit of uh, rubbing there. And Trevas trying. Going to go wide. So he's going to go for the whoops. Louis going to be going. And he's going to drop as he went off the track there. So Tanto is going to be right up behind him now. L Louis losing two spots there then. 
It's a shame after that overtake, but it's what happens. Left the door open, and AK took advantage of that. So it's going to give him second. Ken's with a bit of a lead now, though. He's just got to ride round, keep his race smooth. But AK going to put in the time. Tries hardest to catch up. Messing that section up a little bit. Drivas really clean through there. And I absolutely love that tabletop before the double. The finish line flows so nicely. And as they're going through the whoops, then AK going to be in second still, but Trivas still behind him in third. Pushing though. But the thing is, Trivas is in a bit of a position now, so he's six seconds behind Ken, so he could push and push and try and catch him. Or he could wait and wait for AK to make a mistake and just stay comfy without causing himself to crash. But he's definitely the faster rider. Right turn. Oh, huge crash there from AK. Absolutely dropped the front end. Threw him over the bars. So Drivas going to go for his second. And sometimes that's all he had to do is just stay back a little bit. Put in the time. Close the gap. Allow AK to crack under pressure. And like he has, he's going to draw back to third. It's going to allow Tanto right there as well. And, ah, oh, Louis back in the 11th. So he must have crashed a couple more times. He has dropped right back after running a great race in second. He's going to be gutted with that. But Trevas going to have to just put in some time. Ken's with a huge lead now. Seven seconds it is. So he's lost another second to Ken's. AK just behind him. But he's got to worry about Tanto as he messes that section up again. So AK really struggling through that section there. Tanto right on him now. And that is James. He is going to disconnect. He was running towards the back anyway, but not the greatest ride from him. He's got a few rounds to catch up that gap, though, that he's going to lose the points today. But right now, it's out of AK and Tanto battling for that podium position. And, oh, AK of a crash again. So he is really cracking when someone gets close to him. It's going to allow Tanto to go through to third. I'm not sure if Tanto's actually had a podium of the EU yet. But looking strong for this. AK going to be pushing now. Though. He's pushing really hard. He wants that third back. And they're not actually that far behind Trevas. Looks like Trevas has slowed down a bit. Because he has lost a little bit of time. Don't know if he crashed or something. That's 10 seconds now. So another 3 seconds he's lost on Ken's. As you see, Tanto and AK really putting in the laps now. Tanto just being really clean and smooth. AK right there, though. Got that section right. Going to make a move up the inside. Oh, Tanto going to go down. Went down by himself there. AK was ready to rub up the inside, but didn't have to. So that's going to move AK back up to third. Tanto in fourth. And while this is all happening, Charlie's starting to close up the gap. So he's come through again, starting to get rid of him. He's in fifth. It's going to be Ken's. He is in the lead, putting down the laps. Solid ride from him so far. It's going to take a lot to beat him. 15 second lead. And as you can see from the mini map on the right, he is literally going past Trevas, the other side of the track. You know, there's a long old ribbon section that. Through the whoops, Trevas goes, looking quite clean at the moment. 
AK lost a bit of time on him. But here is the battle. Charlie has moved up to fourth. So Charlie is on a charge. Tanto going to try and push though. Gray's closed up as well. So Tanto might have gone down to allow this to happen. It just proves how much this track is all about just hitting your lines consistently. Consistency is key on it because one crash and you lose so much time. Charlie's starting to pull away from Tanto low and close up to AK. So that's Lil Spence. He's left as well. He's lagged out. He was running around the back also, so that's a bit unfortunate for him. MX in action, he's running in seventh. Haven't seen much of him this race, just staying consistent. He might be in seventh, but as long as he keeps it where he is, it's still good points. It's a long championship, eight rounds, so... So only the opening round, so as long as he keeps it on two wheels, stays where he is, won't be too bad. But looks like Charlie might have gone down because Tano's moved through to fourth again. Just over halfway through this race then, eight minutes remaining. And oh, big mistake there from Tanto. He's going to let Charlie go back past there. He's going to be annoyed with himself for that. And oh, Charlie going down. Going to triple off that though. Got that quite clean. But Tanto there, just going through the whoops. MX in the action, not too far back now behind them. He's in sip. So far, the race is quite spread out. Cray and Freddy, they're batting for that ninth spot. It looks like Louis is actually, uh, Louis is actually closing up to MX in action. That's the battle for Sip. It's so unfortunate for a rider like Louis riding up in second. Got closed up to and um, by uh, AK and then made them mistakes. And ever since then, he just lost his momentum. Was riding really well at the start of the race. So just trying to hold on, get through the laps now. But what he's got to do is walk away from this though, knowing that he's got the speed and... Uh, just keep doing it throughout the season. Knows he can run up with the top guys. Um, just got to keep it on two wheels and put in the consistent laps. Because so far this race, it showed that no one's really got the consistency. They've all got the speed, but not the consistency. Tanto still in fifth. Charlie fourth. And AK third. On that podium spot so far. And they're actually not too far behind Trivas. So AK closing up. Might be a change of position here for second.
They go through the whoops, keeping it all clean, nice and tidy. So AK not closing up as much as he'd want to be. He's still got five minutes low. So he's got to put in the time. Oh, rough section there. Still gets the triple but might lose a bit of time. But that is 19 second lead that Gens has on Trevas. So really is just putting in the times. Looks like Trevas putting out a bit of a gap there as well. Charlie come off again by the looks of it because Tanto has gone back through. Coming through this room section here though, looks like he's got a huge run on Tanto, right there on him. Jump onto the table, off the table, over here, can they get the triple off? He does, he hits the triple clean, gonna have to run, is he gonna go on the outside? Pushed it, close the door, and no! If only he could keep that on two wheels, that would have been a lovely pass. Gonna go down though, Charlie, is there not Tanto? Uh, what's that? Yeah, Tanto going down, it's gonna allow MX in action, so he's gonna go up to fifth. So action just staying consistent. Move up to fifth. Tanto going to try up the inside though. Makes it stick. Oh, action going to go back. Makes it through. Was a bit of a rough pass that. But he kept everyone on. And he's going to move through to fifth. So the Swede really does want this. Tanto going to be dropping back to sixth now. He's not going to be happy with that. But Charlie in fourth. And the battle is on for second now. AK has actually gone through, so he's gone through to second, Trevas in third, but they are on each other, it needs two riders here, so fast, they train together in the week, good pals as well off the track, going to go through side by side, the triple, Trevas going to try and, oh he's going to hit that uh, pits there, so that's going to allow AK to go through, Trevas going to drop back, Charlie a little bit behind though, isn't going to be able to take any advantage of that. But that is going to allow AK to move through then. Ken's over in the back section of the track. Clean racing from him. Oh, I say that I was on AK there. But Trevas ain't too far behind. So we've got two minutes remaining. It's just a fight to the finish now. MX in action in fifth. Not too far behind Charlie. But we'll get back to that spider cam. There we go. And I believe that's Ken's actually lapping up to seventh now. So proves how fast Ken's is going. But uh, Trevas has finally caught back up to AK. Going to try and get past him. He's got to do something quick though and make it tidy because he has only got around three laps left of this race. Getting the triple, triple, tidy. Another triple there. Double into the corner. Keeping that tidy as well. Get 
getting the table off nice as well. So they go over that table into the finish line. Then the triple along the start straight. There we go into the whoops. Drivas carrying his speed around the outside there. And whereabouts is Ken's on track? That's going to be the final lap then. Ken's timed that perfectly. But Trivas right behind AK. Is he going to have time? Obviously, they're going to have to go over the finish. It's technically two laps for them. Ken's is about half a lap, if not more than that, in the lead now. And oh, Trivas pushing too hard. Going to go down. AK's just got to keep it on two wheels now. And he will have second place. But Ken's coming through this last section of the track then. He's led this whole thing. Kept it clean. Trying to get past the back marker there. And through he goes. And he is going to take round one. Beautiful ride from Ken's. And he has come back. Put in the laps. And going to take round one. So he will have the red plate. AK still got seconds just ahead of Trivas. Don't think Trivas is going to be able to do anything unless AK manages to throw it on the floor. Just got to get it through here on that last section now. Triples off nice and clean. Goes into that last corner. Take it easy round here and second will be his. There we go. So he'll be taking second. Trivas in third. Not going to be too happy of that result. But... Third still, third at the end of the day. Good old podium from him. Charlie will take fourth. And there we go. 49-9 from Ken's then. He'll be a winner. AK with a 56. He'll be in second. Drivas did have the faster time than AK. He will be in third. Charlie have the second fastest time of the race. He'll be in fourth. Just a few too many mistakes from him. MX in action, the Swedish. He'll be fifth. Joe Tanto Sip, he was in the 51, so just didn't have the fast time, to be fair. Cray in 7th, Freddy in 8th, and Louis, after that really gutter and opening section of the uh, race, he's going to end up coming 9th. But thank you all for watching the race. We will be back on Friday, so not too long, for the opening round of the 250 Championship. And then the NA will be, for the North Americans, will be about 1 o'clock UK time. And that will be on Friday also. So make sure you check out Ioma underscore Xbox on Instagram to get involved in any of the action. If you want to watch our races back, is Ioma Racing on YouTube. So make sure you check out those platforms. But thanks for watching and we will see you later.